with Amy Warfield. Amy, how are you today? Very fine. How are you? It's a good, beautiful good, day. beautiful day. And just talk about why you're here today. Well, I'm the town clerk, and we have the board of registrars here. We always try to just promote voting, and, and we're doing a fun kids vote. And we're actually using one of our voting ballot boxes that is at least uh, 70 years old. So give the kids an idea of what it was like when we used to have to hand count ballots and those kinds of things. How long have you been coming to celebrate Burlington? Um, we've been here for probably about the last seven or eight years, and my, it gets my registrars out. They, people get a chance to see who are the people that are um, involved with running the elections. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, who am I here with? I am Linda McNamee. I'm Gwyneth McNamee. I'm Magna Dinesh. Perfect. And just talk about what we're here for. Okay, well, we decided to come to Celebrate Burlington, and as you may or may not know, Celebrate Burlington started as an individual wanting to make a difference in the community. These girls organized a multicultural event for the town of Burlington um, as part of their Girl Scout Award, but now they want to make the event annual. So we're here to recruit help to make the Culture Fest an annual event. And what's been each of your favorite parts of Celebrate Burlington? Um, I feel like basically my favorite part has been we have a map behind us with the locations of where everyone's from and I feel like it's cool just seeing who was from where in Burlington. And what about you? Yeah, the same thing because it's like showing the diversity of Burlington just in one single map. Yeah. about Burlington Club 50? Burlington Club 50 is a, a various activities for residents who are over 50 years old. Uh, anything from bocce to pickleball to tennis to golf to uh, uh, game nights, bowling. For Burlington residents, it's uh, no fee and you can sign up for as many activities as you want. I'm here at the Indian Americans for Burlington and I'm here with... Shilpa. Vaidehi. And Prasad. All right. Ashria. All right. We are having a booth here for uh, um, you know uh, recognizing Indians of uh, Burlington, Indian Americans for Burlington. So we have a Diwali upcoming event uh, at the Commons. Uh, we have lots of dances, like you know performances, and a lo lot of food stalls and a lot of shopping around. So please feel free to come on 24th of September. Yep. We are blessed to be part of the Burlington community and uh, there will be more events coming from the IAB in the future. I'm here with Beth Israel, Leahy Health and ladies, how are you today? Excellent! So we are here representing the occupational therapy and physical therapy departments. We're here testing participants' grip strength. There you go. Pack it in. Yep. And give it a squeeze. Whoops. So you got 43.1 pounds. You need to come see us, my friend. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we're enjoying getting to show the community what we do and you know, seeing all the other tents around. It's really nice to be able to be part of the community. Pumpkin Patch. I'm here with Judy Walsh, part of People Helping People, and they are promoting the Pumpkin Patch, which is in October. So Judy, let's talk a little about that. All right, this is our 10th year for the pumpkin patch. We can't believe it's been that many years. And 100% of the proceeds of the profit that we get uh, goes to the Burlington Food Pantry. But it's an outreach project of St. Mark's Church. Every year it's gotten bigger and better. And every year we seem to be able to give the uh, pantry uh, more funds to help support uh, food insecurity in the town of Burlington. I'm here with Nikki Cadillac, creator of the Burlington Buzz. Nikki, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? Doing well. So let's talk a little about uh, Burlington Buzz. I know there's a lot of news been happening. We're subscribed to your newsletter. Just talk a little about uh, a lot of stuff's been happening. A lot of stuff has been happening. We're talking about uh, building developments by, uh, approved by the select board. We're talking about schools that need to be built. We're talking about police stations that need to be built and all of the other things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis in the town of Burlington. It's like the city. All right, so I'm here at Burlington Parks and Recreation Director Brendan Egan. Brendan, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Robert. How about you? I'm doing well. Celebrate Burlington 2023. The fun never stops here on the Common. It's an all-day event. Of course, 
the Burlington Parks and Recreation Department staff is here. Our uh, maintenance crew prepared the common, um, do an amazing job doing that. And our program staff and, uh, you know, are responsible for putting on all these activities. And of course, Kelly Lehman, our assistant director, this is like single-handedly, she makes this happen every year. And everything that goes on today is free because of the generous donations from our, from the sponsors, from the businesses that want to have a 10 by 10 tent here. That's what, you know, because of that, uh, Burlington or Celebrate Burlington is free. You know, we do. Well, Robert, it's been a fun day, huh? It's been a great day. A lot of vendors, a lot of food, a lot of people. Well, thanks again to Brendan Egan of Burlington Parks and Rec for another glorious Burlington Day.